Okay guys, welcome back to a very quick tutorial with me, Dr. Hate. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a loading screen for your Losing My Marbles game. So it's really simple. You're in the game first of all, this is my level, Dr. H, this is the level I'm in right here. I'm just going to save that with Command S, there's a little flash up there when I do. And then I'm going to create a new level. This new level with Command N creates a totally blank screen. Don't worry, you haven't lost everything, it's still saved here. And the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save this new level and I'm going to call it Splash because this is the splash screen or loading screen at the start of my game. In order to make this work, you're going to need to download an assets package. Now, if you're one of my students, you can find this in Things Students Ask Me For as the Splash Screen Unity package. Once you have the package, you need to find it in the downloads and drag it into the assets folder. It will ask you if you want to import it, which you do, and you'll see it shows up in the assets folder as Dr. H. Let's get rid of that. So there are two things in here. One is the script and the other is this canvas. And I'm simply going to drag this canvas up into the hierarchy here. Now it says put me on camera. If we quickly look at the game view, you don't need to put it on the camera, but you can if you want to. It won't make any difference if you actually do put it on the camera. So I'm going to put it there. This is another canvas that's going to overlay this white screen. And when I push play, it's going to have this loading screen here. So the canvas I've created has a few other things in it. It has this image file, which is optional, which I'll get into in a second, where you can drag images into this box to serve as a background to the game. The next thing it has is the text. The text here simply says, press P to play. P is the only letter that will work, so please don't change this bit. But if you want to add further instructions, you can type in this box, further instructions, and they will come up on the screen as well for the player so they know what to do from the second they start your game. I'm going to leave this as press P to play and I'm going to take a look at the other thing that's on the put me on the camera canvas which is the script load next level. So this is set up very similar to the timer script except this isn't going to reload the same level when the timer runs down it's going to load the next level. You can see I've left my Octobeard test level beard in there but beard is not the name of the level that I want to load. If I go into my assets I can see I've got the splash level I've created here and I've got the Dr. H level which is my main level and that's the one I want to load. So the name of my main game is the name that I put in here. D-R-H. All one word, lowercase, no spaces. You'll put whatever your level is called in your load next level script. The final thing we need to do is make sure that both the splash screen and the game level are in the build settings. So we go file, build settings. You can see at the moment Dr. H is. I'm just going to take that out for a second so that there's nothing in there. We can do this from scratch. So what you do, all you need to do, in the order that you want the levels to appear, you drag the level file in. So I'm going to drag splash in there. That's going to be the first level. And then I'm going to drag Dr. H and that's going to be the second level. So this is my splash screen. This is my main game, and if I had an end screen that said I'd, I'd won or something, then that would be the third one down there. You don't need to click Build, you can just click Off. I am then going to save with Command S, does its little flick thing again, and then I'm going to push Play. And what should happen now, if I push P to play, is it actually loads the level that I've started. Don't worry if the lighting is slightly off or if you've only got side to side movement as this won't happen when you actually build the game. This has been a very quick five minute tutorial in how to add a splash screen and instructions to the start of your game. Thank you very much for listening.